Hello everyone, so in today's video I'm going to be showing you how you can start your own art journal but on a budget. So first you're going to want to get a notebook and you can choose whatever you want. It can be grid journal, it can be blank lined, it can be lined, it can be dotted, it can be whatever you want. But this is a sketchbook and I got this at Walmart and you can find a whole bunch of different types of notebooks. Just choose whatever you like. And I have this sketchbook here and then I also have this little art journal that I made out of hand. It's from a little box, a sticker box that I had. And I made a tutorial on how I made this so I'll leave that link down below if you guys want to check it out. Or you can check it out on this corner here but i decided to use my tea dyed papers and i have this really tiny art journal that i've been loving so much recently i've been making so many art journal spreads and i love it and then i also have this dot grid journal i used to do my art spreads in here and i used to do in my earlier videos on my channel you can see them i did a lot of spreads in here but I don't really use this i really like the smaller journals so that's why i've been loving the mini one that i made So now we're going to go to images and you can use stickers or whatever you want. You can buy sticker books, but I'm going to be showing you how you can do this on a budget. And so I have this magazine that I got at a festival. And so I decided to keep it because I like the black and white images. It gave me vintage vibes, but you can get images. You can use books. You can use images you find from magazines. This magazine I kept for a while and I love the images in here and I already made some journal spreads with this. But yeah, you can just flip through magazines and just find images that you like, cut them out, fussy cut them. You can just get creative. Like look at how pretty this background is. It's so nice and I love this spread here with the Joe Rose. I actually made a spread on this and it's it came out really, really cool. So you just have to get creative. Just find magazines you like. Maybe you were gonna throw them out from the mailbox keep them and just flip through them see what images you like and now this is my vintage book that i actually got at key west like a few months ago and i fell in love with this book and i barely made a dent in it like i have so many images in here and i love it but i have so many images in here that i love to use Who doesn't like a little color in their life so i'm just going to be showing you some things that i like to use in my mixed media spreads and i have these oil pastels that i got in the dollar store like a few months back and i got these for a dollar and that's a really good price because you can do so much with this and i'm going to show you in the end towards the video what i like to use these for but there's just a bunch of different colors greens blues black i like to use black the most to ink around the edges of my journal spreads if you don't have distress ink then you can use these you can use oil pastels or watercolor or whatever you want I also like to use my watercolors. I got this at Hobby Lobby. This was on the pricier end. You don't have to use watercolor. You can use whatever you want. You can use colored pencils, whatever color you decide to use. And another one of my favorites lately are paints and I got these at Walmart for like 50 cents 59 cents I think that's how much they cost but I love these I've been loving them in my spreads like to create more vintagey looks but I have a whole bunch of colors in my drawers I have browns I have pinks beige blue every color so just go to your local Walmart or dollar store and go to the paint aisle and you can find so many colors Another thing I've been liking to use is nail polish. So I have this gold glitter nail polish that I actually use in my spreads and I'm going to show you in this one spread here how I used it. You can see here the shiny glittery part, that's the nail polish and I thought it came out super cool. Now we're going to get some paper and you don't have to buy any paper pads because paper pad can be expensive if you go to Michaels or Hobby Lobby unless there's a really good discount. But I like to use book pages. This is a book that I haven't read in a while. My mom actually read it, um, but I wasn't going to be using it. So I decided to use the pages and I also have this notebook where I actually don't journal in it, but I do keep the pages and I love to use the pages in my journal spreads because it has that vintagey vibe. And these are just some scrapbook papers that I bought from Walmart. 
the pack was like two something it was a good price because it came with a lot of paper but you can get creative you can maybe go to hobby lobby or michael's and buy single pattern papers they sell them for like 25 cents I also like to keep things like this. This is actually a brown paper bag that I saved when I was buying beans from a zero waste store. And so I decided to keep it. And this is amazing for like your mixed media journal spreads. It gives it extra texture, a different look. And this is actually some paper that I got from Hobby Lobby when they had wrapped something that me and my mom bought. They wrapped it up in this paper and I decided to keep it. So make sure you look around you and just save what you can. Now these are extra things that you can use. You don't have to use this, but I've been loving this. And I have these stencils that I got at Hobby Lobby and I shouldn't have done it because um, I could literally make this at home. But you can see here in the journal spread how I used it. I love the circles. I get my paints and I kind of go over the stencil with it and it gives it a really cool texture and look to the journal spread. But this you can actually make. And I got this brown paper cardstock and I got my hole puncher and I just punched holes into the cardstock. So. I don't know why I spent like $5 on this pack, but it is what it is. I'm showing you guys how you can do your own and that way you have a different texture and it's free. So I'm just punching holes in the cardstock and that's pretty much it. You can just get your paints, get whatever color you want to use and then just put it on your journal spread and just paint over it. Next are digital prints and this is a good way to get inexpensive stickers or stationery or something different. Like if you want some cool pictures or images, you can always go to Etsy and purchase digital prints. I actually have a digital print shop on my Etsy. I'm going to leave it linked down below if you guys want to check it out. But I sell my prints between 35 cents to like $2, but they're very inexpensive. So you can find cool images of birds or vintage prints or cute things like that. So I'm going to leave that link down below. So you guys can check it out but i love using this this is a great way to kind of have something cute in your journal spread and very inexpensive because stickers can be expensive I'll, I'll give you that they can be expensive stationery can be expensive in general so this is a good alternative to that Next are pencils and pens. This is very basic, but I like to kind of scratch over my journal spread to give it a different kind of look. I, I like it. I love the way it comes out. So yeah, nothing much to that. And another extra thing, I got this thimble. I don't know how you say it, thimble, thimble. I'm not sure, but this is actually what you use when you're sewing so that you don't prick your finger too much. And I don't even use it, but I decided to use it to use as a stamp. And this is a really cool way to get stamps if you don't have any, because stamps can be expensive. So just find household objects that have a cool, interesting shape to them that you think is cool. And you can put them in your journal spread like this. This came out so cool. I love the circles and I thought this was just perfect. I also got this bottle cap and you can also use this to stamp so it just has like these sharp edges which I thought was cool so I'm just gonna grab that and show you guys. I won't be using this one too much but it does give it something different if you're looking for that. And I'm just getting the thimble again and I'm just going to stamp the other side because the circle is a lot smaller so I get two circle shapes in one. So this is what it looks like and I love the way that this came out. I've been using this a lot in my journal spreads lately. So now I'm just going to be creating a mixed media art spread with the things that I just showed you. And I'm going to be getting all of these magazine images that I cut out from the magazine and the textbook of vintage images of people. But I'm getting this like bluish paper that I got. I think this was in the section of the Jonas Brother page, but I'm just going to be sticking that. And I like to, I've been liking just mixing in random pieces of background colors and paper. So I'm just mixing things up. So that's what I'm doing. I'm not thinking too much of it. With my art journal, I'm getting into the habit of just create, just putting things down. I don't want to think too much of it. I just want to have fun and just use up whatever I have. This is also a good way to just use up whatever paper scraps you may have that you want to use up. Just put them in a journal spread, put them all in there, maybe add some paint onto the background and then add some images on top of it. And it comes out really, really cool. But this is actually one of my favorite journal spreads that I've ever created from any of the, the spreads that I created on my channel, from things that I've created by myself. 
This is absolutely one of my favorite journal spreads that I have ever created. It looks so different from whatever I've done in the past and I love it. I love the colors. I love the different objects I put in it and I love playing around with all the new things like the paints and the stencils and I just had a lot of fun with this spread and it was it cost me barely anything, you know? All the supplies that I used were just either handmade or just things that I found around. And that's kind of why I wanted to change up my channel a bit. I wanted to do more handmade art or just showing you guys you can create art by just seeing what's around you. And you don't have to go out and buy stuff. You know, a lot of times I do see other journal creators out there on YouTube and sometimes I'll be like oh, okay I, I want all that like I want all that stuff to make cute spreads but you really don't need that you just have to be creative just use what's around you and just I like to listen to music when I'm making journal spreads or making art and just sitting there and just feeling inspired and that's just how I like to do it I just like to use what I have on hand I don't like to really spend much money on art journal supplies anymore or stationery. I either like to create them or just use what I have and I feel like the journal spreads that I create from that are so much more satisfying and so much better than, than the stationary products that I would buy. And a lot of times, to be honest, I don't even use all the stationary products that I buy. Like, sometimes I forget what I have and so I don't want to be spending money on something that I'm not going to really use. And for me, I've just, I feel like this is a lot more satisfying and a lot better because it's something I created, like this really cool piece of art from just things that I either found around my house or saved from when I bought something, so it's a lot more satisfying and, I don't know, a lot more freeing for me. And I'm going in with my expensive stencil that I could have just made at home and I'm just getting some more of my paint and just going over it but I love this technique I've been using it a lot in my journal spreads I love the way it comes out and it kind of looks like an under the sea theme that's what I'm getting from this journal spread Now I felt like I needed something a little more so I'm just grabbing this little butterfly from a digital print that's on my shop. I'm just gonna cut it out and place it somewhere on my spread. I feel like this really brought it all together because it's just so random. It's like you don't really know what's going on but it doesn't really matter because it just looks really cool and the colors are so pretty and sometimes that's just what we need. And now I'm getting my oil pastel color and you can see here how I'm going to be coloring around the edges. So again, like I said, if you don't have any distress ink, a lot of people like when I use a distress ink, but if you don't have that because they are expensive, you can get these oil pastel colors. I got this pack at the dollar store and I'm just going around the pages just to kind of sharpen it and just to make the pages pop a bit more. And you can use whatever color. I'm just using the black because I always like to use that color, but you can use a red one or a green, whatever you want. And now I'm just gonna get some of this paint and I'm going to splatter a little bit onto the page. And that's pretty much it for this journal spread. I absolutely love the way that this came out, you guys. I'm so happy about this spread and it was just using things that I had on hand. So let me know, you guys, if you enjoyed this video and if this video helped you on how to start your art journal and that you got ideas on how to start art journaling but on a budget. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.